Cody and Robin kissing newborns worry fans. Why? And why fans think Robin Brown was drunk? And I will explain everything. Never miss this video. Hello viewers, I am Jacob. Welcome to our new video. Before going to the main topic, I will like to say, like this video, and please subscribe to the channel. Cody and Robin kissing newborns worry fans. Why? Recently, Cody and Robin Brown of Sister Wives visited the new twins of Tony and my Kelty Padron. Following the airing of the most recent episode, people are concerned about Cody and Robin's decisions regarding the infants. Why? Cody and Robin Brown are ecstatic to see my Kelty Brown Padron's newborn twins as they visit the Sister Wives stars. Cody was enamored with little Archer and Ace during their stay. He cuddled up to them and remarked on how adorable their newborn set was. Cody was also amazed at how little their baby ears were. Robin and Cody were delighted to show the little newborns their affection. They all exchanged hugs and kisses for the priceless young ones. Cody was thrilled to see his new grandkids, but Robin and Cody's behavior alarmed many. One Sister Wives fan on Reddit brings up how much they detest Cody and Robin Brown kissing my Kelty Brown Padron's twins. Ace Nand Archer, Cody and Robin kissing newborns is what they say first. The commenter continues, anyone anyone shudder when we all know that K and R are herps carriers and watch them kiss the twins. For infants, this exposure can be extremely harmful, even lethal. My Kelty allows them smooch on the baby like that which surprises me, and the most aware person of all ought to be Robin. She would force guests to change before they came visit, since she was so obnoxious with the baby Ariela. Fans believe that despite their excitement to see the babies, Cody and Robin Brown should have exercised restraint. They couldn't understand why my Kelty Brown remained silent either. In the same way, they are aware that Robin and Cody understand germ transmission. That was strange, particularly in light of the fact that Robin has correctly advised her kids to wash up before handling a newborn on several occasions. She is obviously aware of good hygiene and baby care, though my Kelty's lack of concern doesn't surprise me, in my opinion. In addition, Solomon was born with RSV. One way that direct contact spreads RSV is kissing. One observer notes that Cody and Robin Brown care about some germs more than others. They remark, ironic that he wasn't worried about germs during COVID, but he was so careful about them then. Because once more, why? Yes, exactly, since the goiter wife may participate in giving the babies kisses. Yes, Crustylox, nice logic. During COVID, he was not a germ-concerned person. He claimed to be, and along with his chiropractor, he set up a number of crazy rules, but he disregarded them. Several sister wives were talking about the medical need to be aware of things that could harm neonates after the first post. But other people were also questioning my Kelty Brown's decision-making in addition to Cody and Robin Brown's. As a mother and a medical professional, I was appalled. Is it stupidity or ignorance? People who think they have the right to kiss another person's child enrage me greatly. Kisses on the head have claimed the lives of babies. It makes no sense, and they didn't even inquire as to whether it was all right. No, I don't think my Kelty gives a damn about Robin having herps, even though she shouldn't kiss infants. This woman is over here saying that Pept will automatically not occur to anyone who consumes their placenta. She's not exactly up to date on health and medical issues. Some fans think it's not as serious as people are making it out to be, despite the fact that many others disapproved of Cody and Robin Brown kissing Archer and Ace. Another person brings up the possibility that my Kelty Brown Padron exposed the infants earlier. My Kelty gets cold sores too. The user comments, almost everyone has been exposed to them in childhood. They're not even a sexually transmitted disease, so I don't understand why they're stigmatized. Furthermore, it differs from the type that causes genital herpes. Until the person with the cold sore has an active outbreak, a newborn is not truly at risk. You should definitely educate yourself about herpes. Herps can be transmitted without an active epidemic. Exactly the same here. Wholeheartedly concur. Likewise me. If someone had kissed my child, that would have been their last time getting that close. And I would have been furious. Why fans think Robin Brown was drunk? Why and why did Sister Wives viewers believe Robin Brown was intoxicated?
she has never been observed drinking or slurring her words while appearing on the show. She has often been recognized for her constant whining or weeping. What occasion was this, and why do admirers think she was intoxicated? For further information, continue reading. Robin Brown has a victim complex, according to Gabe Brown, and has always been regarded as the family crier. She doesn't seem to give a damn about the Obi kids or how the family is disintegrating. Her concerns were more about how it would affect her and her dreams. Her first spouse did not fulfill her desire to marry into a polygamous family. She was especially drawn to the sister-wife experience but felt rejected by them. She eventually found herself back with Cody, where she was once more living in monogamy. It was difficult to harmonize everyone's individualistic behavior over the approaching holidays on the show. Three wives left, customs shifted, and children grew. Since my Kelty Brown patron had recently given birth, Christine Brown Woolley spent Thanksgiving 2022 in Utah with her kids. To celebrate the holiday with her sons at Logan Brown's, Chanel Brown traveled to Las Vegas. Last but not least, Mary Brown chose solitude. After Christmas, Robin broke down on the floor of her bathroom, leaving her followers to wonder if she was okay. She was expressing all of her emotions to her phone's camera, telling it was Christmas, and she had to pretend that this was not the life she wanted for her children. This really irritated the audience and led to a Reddit discussion raising doubts about Robin Brown's sobriety. Was Robin intoxicated? Why was she talking about her testimony for multiple marriage so slowly and strangely? Upon the surface of your restroom? The post mentioned that the mother of five had the option to express her emotions anyplace else, but she decided to do so on the restroom floor. Fans of Sister Wives have opinions even though nobody felt qualified to judge Robin Brown's sobriety. I freely acknowledge that I lack any hard evidence to support my suspicion that she and Cody are secret drinkers. When married to Cody, who in the world would choose sobriety? Pictures of him carrying cases of alcohol and hard cider out of the grocery store have surfaced. I'm a bartender, and my dad was an alcoholic when he was younger. She didn't give me any signs of intoxication at all. There were many who thought she might be taking anxiety pills to help her relax. Those who said they didn't like her meanwhile expressed worry following her floor tantrum. She should eventually reach a point in her life where she is content with it. Was Robin acting strangely, or did you think she was just depressed about the circumstances? Tell us and watch TLC's Sister Wives Sundays. Let us know in the comments, and stay tuned by subscribing to our channel to get more updates like this. Thank you.